Google Meet. Customize your view. Ever been in a Google Meet and cannot see the slides? Perhaps you need to multitask whilst keeping abreast of a meeting. Or maybe you want to work collaboratively on a Google document while in a meet. There are lots of different ways to customize your meet view to get the best out of your screen real estate. Today, we're going to look at all things layout. There are four standard meet layouts. Auto is the default setting. This view will display up to nine tiles by default on the right hand side of the screen. Tiles are participant video or avatars or presented screens. Tiled is the optimum layout for large meetings. This shows 16 tiles by default on the right hand side. It has the potential to show 49 tiles. The number of visible tiles will be limited by pin tiles and ultimately by the size of the window you're using. Click on the hot dog menu and select change layout to access the layouts. Select tiled to apply and use the slider to increase visible tiles. A shared screen is automatically pinned. This will reduce visible tiles and pinning extra participants will also reduce the space. Maximum tiles can be seen when there is no screen shared or the shared screen is unpinned. Spotlight is the best layout for focused viewing of a shared screen. This will display an enlarged tile of the presented screen. When the screen is not shared, Spotlight will display a full screen tile of any unmuted participant who is speaking or potentially making noise. In the spotlight, the self-view tile will auto-float. The tile can be moved or minimised to reduce distraction. In my opinion, sidebar gives the best view when you are working with a shared screen but still wish to take advantage of expressions and body language. In this layout, four tiles will display. Tiles are reactive to participants speaking and will update as delegates engage. It's possible to go beyond the standard layouts to further customize your optimum view. You can full screen your Google Meet interface. Full screen will hide the start menu, the browser tabs, the Omnibox and bookmarks. Access full screen from the options menu. Once engaged, the option modifies to exit full screen and this will return you to the browser view. Pin participant tiles. You can pin up to three tiles in a live meet. This can be a screen tile, participant tile, or a combination of both. Pin tiles by hovering over the tile and clicking the pin icon. You can employ this function in different layouts. Click the icon again to unpin a participant. Float or grid self-view. By default, Google Meet will offer you a self-view tile. Self-view floats in a one-to-one -one meeting and is added to the grid of tiles when multiple participants join or a screen is shared. You can toggle between floating and grid view by clicking the grid icon on the self-view tile. Minimize or move self-view. If, like me, you are not a fan of viewing yourself in a meet, you can minimize self-view. You will not see your video feed, but other participants will. In floating mode, a self-view tile can be enlarged or shrunk and moved around the screen. It will move around the screen in full tile or in minimized format. It is now possible to turn off other participants' feeds. This functionality is currently in rollout. From the people icon, users can select don't watch in the participants menu. This is a personal setting. The participant will not be aware that the feed is off in your view and all other participants' views are unaffected. 
Now, if you thought this was a lot of functionality, we are not finished yet. I mentioned at the top of the video situations where we are multitasking in Meet, legitimately or otherwise. It's possible in Meet to follow the flow of a meeting whilst navigating other tabs in your browser by engaging the picture in picture option. Picture in picture will give a four tile view displaying participants and presentations. It allows for interactive elements like raised hands and chat messages to be visible. The essential participant actions are available, including mute, turn off camera and exit. You can return to your meet window in one click. From the options menu, select open picture in picture. As you navigate the browser tabs, the picture in picture remains visible. Click and drag to relocate. Raised hands and chats will appear at the bottom of the window. Hovering over the window will expose the action icons and centrally the back to tab control. Lastly, we can use a Meet pop-out to access Meet while working in a sheet, doc or slide deck. The Meet can be joined from the file you're working in or an ongoing Meet can be relocated in a file. Using Meet in editors allows the user to quick share the file they're working on with participants. Like picture in picture, Interactive elements can be seen and essential interactive elements are available. When docked to the side of the file, the screen share button is also visible and the options menu. Lastly, users can toggle between this docked view, a picture in picture view and the Meet app browser. Start your meeting from the Meet icon at the top right of your Google bar. Upcoming meetings are visible or a user can start a brand new meeting from this menu. Clicking on the meeting takes you to a pop-up green room screen. On joining, the meet is docked to the side of the file. If you are already in an existing meet, when you access the Google Meet icon in your file, you will be offered the option to relocate the meet to that window. You will also be offered the option to present the tab into the existing Meet. Once you have relocated the Meet, clicking the icon a second time reveals the option to share the file in the Meet chat and to set permissions for viewers who don't already have access. The docked Meet has essential actions and the share screen button available. In addition, the options menu will give you access to view chat messages, raise hands, access people or meet details. From the top of the dock, toggle to picture in picture, return to the docked app or pop out in a full meet browser. So there you have it. View different layouts in the meet browser, customize those layouts, take your meet with you as you navigate other tabs, windows or other applications and take meet to your workspace by locating meets in your working files. I think after all of that, I need to lie down. Next time, we're going to discover all the functionality available to meet hosts and co-hosts. So until next time, take care.